Hi, this is a quick video of our folks PC desktop running on this brand new tablet. This is a OnePlus Pad 2 tablet based on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 SoC and it's packed with 12 GB memory. So it's a pretty high-end tablet. It's running the new version of Android 15 with a relatively new kernel. This is kernel is a Google's GKI kernel, which is Android 14-6.1. This kernel is important because once we build the drivers for this kernel, this build will run on any SOC or any tablet or phone that uses the same Android 14 6.1. GKI kernel. Those of you who don't know what Folks PC Desktop is, Folks PC Desktop is based on Debian XFCE, XFCE and it consists of two APKs. The Desktop APK that sends audio and graphics to Android and the Installer APK that manages the installation. So even though I'm showing it on this Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 SoC, it can also run on a Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 phone or any phone that uses the same GKI kernel. So this is Debian Bookworm XFC. I have installed NeoFetch. It will give you more details about the distribution. This is XFC 4.18 Debian Bookworm running on the Qualcomm SOC and it is using Android 14-6.1 kernel. Audio works. Film, food, and fun. Three things that make Alamo Drafthouse so different from other theaters. So Elon Musk is now saying that he will be spending spending a lot less of his fortune. All of those applications that I'm showing here is from Debian. We haven't changed any of the applications. All we change is the graphics framework so that it works efficiently on top of Android. And that way you get a fairly very usable high performance graphics even on even when it runs on top of android so this is a high end tablet you can easily do graphics editing on this device but i'm not an expert on it but those of you who are familiar with the tools you can easily use it and create content on linux also linux is great for learning to program uh, we also support Visual Studio Code Editor, so you can learn programming on Linux and run it on, on this device, uh, but you cannot do that easily on Android. But since we run as an application on top of Android, all the Android services are available. For example, OK Google, how is the weather today? In Campbell, the forecast is for a high of 60 and a low of 49 and mostly cloudy. Right now it's 63 and clear. You can also switch to Android by swiping on the navigation bar and you can switch back. Run like this. Back to the desktop. Or you can click on this XFCE Android button and go back to Android. And there is a lot of applications that are useful for common consumers, like a lot of support for a lot of streaming formats, audio and video streaming format like Netflix, uh, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and storage on cloud storage like OneDrive, Google Drive, and Linux is great for programming. So when you combine the two, two together, you get the benefits of all the Android application and also some of the great applications on Linux, which are great for content creation. Android is great for content consumption. So 
So that's the reason why we do it. Anyway, uh, you can download a free evaluation version from folkspc.org. There's also a FAQ page that explains who, all the questions you may have about our integration of Linux desktop with Android. So feel free to visit folkspc.org. Thank you very much. I'm going to stop the recording here.